Hundreds of worshipers gather in the sacred building for the first time this year as Bishop DiMarzio celebrates the completed restoration. Catholics always like nice churches, and I'm sure this is even an improvement over what, what was there. People are happy with it. It's homey, uh, very inviting. It's beautiful. It's breathtaking. It's everything I wished it would be and more. Over the last six months, the Howard Beach Church has transformed. During my last visit, it was a large empty space. The sketch on paper, now a living masterpiece. The crucifix mounts to the wall in the center of the church. Statues of the Sacred Heart and the Blessed Mother sit in the sanctuary. Marble floors and new pews line the building. The pastor, Father Francis Colomaria, led the project, but acknowledges generous parishioners, many of whom have endured heartache. 3,000 families in St. Helen Parish uh, experience Hurricane Sandy only four years ago, donated more than $1.4 million to Generations of Faith. They deserve a place to honor and worship God. Our community has shown its strength. Now through God's graces, we are all strong again in the dedication of this church. During Mass, Bishop DiMarzio sprinkles the church and worshipers with holy water as a reminder of baptism. Pouring chrism oil on the marble of the new altar, the bishop anoints the sacred table where da Vinci's Last Supper sits at the base. Then, incensing the church signifies prayers rising to heaven. After communion, the bishop processes around St. Helens with the Eucharist before blessing the new tabernacle. One of the significant aspects of the new St. Helens is the missing wall, demolished so that more than 150 seats could be added. You see the elderly people come, sometimes you see some young faces, some new faces and it all comes together, it becomes a family. We recently moved and we chose to stay here basically because of our parish, our parish family, the people that we met here. This is where we belong. And with the restored church, members of St. Helens hope to welcome more Catholics back to their family. Reporting for Currents from Howard Beach, I'm Tim Harfman. Oh.